playing on their heels in the first quarter in every one of the ball games, and they've got to get into this one because Utah is hot shooting early in the ball game. Barkley and a legal defense call against Utah. That's the first of the game. That results in a warning. The next will be a technical foul. It wasn't that long ago when Charles Barkley would dominate Carl Malone day in and day out when Charles was playing for the Phoenix Suns. Carl Malone has improved his game immeasurably. Barkley came up short and got fouled on the arm. This promises to be a battle royal on the blocks <laughs> all day long. Well, you take a look at two powerful men and, and one just a little bit bigger and stronger. They, they, they make it exchange right there, but Carl Malone knows that he can keep Charles Barkley from making his favorite move of bodying in, getting a pump fake and going up and under because he can just brace and hold him in that spot. Carl Malone is still talking to Charles. And Barkley, whose free throw ability at the line has come and gone in this series, misses the first. Malone and Barkley are best of friends off the court, bitter rivals on. Barkley does not have the jumping ability off his offensive low. Ball couldn't get it. Two seconds to play. Malone didn't fall. Barkley continues to argue the whistle that wasn't blown at the other end. We've played three. gets called for the foul. <laughs> How can he argue that call? That's number two on Barkley. Dickens stocked his head off. But it was, the, it was the right play to attack the pick and roll, and they forced John Stockton backwards, and if Barkley had not reached in, <laughs> they had him under control. Right there, he just reaches over the top of the head. That's what you love about guys like Barkley, though. They play so hard with so much passion. Then you look up, and late in the game, they got one foul. Now they're going to get Carl Malone out so he doesn't pick up anything cheap in the final 3-2 left here in the half. Stockton with eight points trying to get the nine in the, pit, in the quarter. Got the second one to fall. Exchange tried to duck around and uh, got caught on Chris Morris. First miss from the free throw line this afternoon by the Jazz. They are eight of nine. Coming up on three and a half to play, the Jazz lead at 46-39. Carl Malone, Barkley just told Maloney to shut up and play ball. A teraz niespełna 8 minut do końca. Jednopunktowe prowadzenie zespołu Houston Rockets 8. Good bump by Eddie Johnson. Hornacek. Battle underneath. Won by the Jazz. Rebounded, however, by the Rockets. And Hornacek comes up limping. <laughs> Carl, Carl Malone slapped at the ball. Barkley told oh, me. I'm gonna, and Malone, I'm gonna... <laughs> Malone just knocked Barkley over, who fell into Stockton. But that was all set up by Charles Barkley telling him, I'm going to give you a little wood on the next one. And Carl Malone said, wood this. Up the court, Charles is saying, hey, I'm coming at you with one on this rebound here. And Carl Malone, that's a nice flop by Charles Barkley, who gets up laughing. Flop, I suckered you into giving me that <laughs> shot. What do you mean, flop? That's four personal fouls on Carl Malone. Yep. Barkley gets the first one. Let's check to Jim Gray. Jim. All right, Greg, uh, Charles Barkley walked over here to get some rosin to dry off his hands. He winked at me. He says, I guess I have his attention now, finally. Greg? <laughs> Huge afternoon for Mr. B. 17 and 13. Hornacek going to the bench. They're going to uh, check his knee, and uh, Ryan Russell will come in the game. This has been the healthiest Utah team.